like to be queen for a day? Of course, the queen for a day, the Cinderella show, starring Jack Bailey. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. He's supposed to clap right there. Right there where you clap. Welcome once again to Queen for a Day. You know, the crown is ready, so is the throne, so are we. And all we have to do is sort of have the ladies get up here, tell us what they want. If they're queen, then our audience makes a decision, but we can help out by talking to each one of these ladies in turn. This is Lacey, L-A-C-Y, Dorothy. Yes. How long have you been married? Seven years. Dorothy, what do you want if you're queen for a day? Well, I'd like to have um, material to build uh, two sets of bunk beds and four mattresses. My suggestion is, for the sake of your peace and serenity, you let us build those bunk beds for you. Perfect. And if you're our queen, we'll bunk bed your trailer. We'll put the mattresses on it, and the rest is up to you, okay? Thank you. Don't you ever lose that smile. That's a cute one. Thank you, Dorothy Macy. Thank you very much. Tell me your name so we get that right. Rose Ann Burns. Rose Ann Burns. Now, that's written plainly there. Where do you make your home, Ms. Burns? The corner. corner. Now, what was the first thing you had in your card that you want? A gurney. A, a hospital gurney. A hospital gurney. But there was just the word gurney there. You want a gurney... And a transistor radio. For my son. Now, tell me what the gurney is for, for sure. The boy had uh, polio four years ago. I see. And he had two operations on his spine last November. Oh, gee. They uh, corrected a curvature. Fine. And uh, he's been home since December. Good. In a full cast. I see. He isn't allowed to leave his bed. Uh-huh. I can't be sat up. I see. If we had a gurney, I could take him out to get some air. He hasn't been out of the house except for return visits to the hospital once a month. Well, is that the thing you kind of roll them over on and away they go? He could, he could roll right off of his bed onto this cart. Ah. Because my husband has had two heart attacks and he's not supposed to lift. See, this is not your season, Mrs. Byrne. It hasn't been for a while. I know, and thank you for coming to the show and educate me to the point of now I know what a gurney is. I know what a transistor radio is and I have a small one that's for your boy. Yes. Well, now we'll do that. We'll get you a gurney. We'll get you a transistor radio. How would you like one of those uh, with the shortwave band, you mean, that you hear? I guess you can get to Japan and all that stuff. Oh, he'd love it. Wouldn't that be a... It certainly would be a lifesaver for him. Well, sure. And for me, too. Yeah. Well, you could sit in there and tune in and hear what's going on, on the other side of the world. Mrs. Burns, you told a wonderful story and told it well. If you're our queen, you get them. And that's all there is of that, okay? Thank you. Very Thank you, Mrs. Burns. Luck. Good luck. Thank you. Luck. In there. How are you, uh, Ruth? Fine. You're, <laughs> you look like you're going to live, I hope. How do you say that? Klikowski. Well, where were you born? Toledo, Ohio. Really? Oh, really? I thought maybe... Is that a Polish name? Yes, that is. Well, that's great. You got any children, Mrs. Klikowski? Yes, I do. How many? Two girls, four Two? and five. Now, let's see. You live out here for the time being? Just for a few months. I had to bring my little girl out. Is your little um, girl sick? Yes. Uh, I lost my husband... In November, oh my to a hunting accident. He was out hunting, and uh, his buddy accidentally shot him. And huh. uh, Leaving you with the two kids? Mm-hmm. Was that just this last November? Yes, the yes. 16th. Then why did you find it necessary to come out here for the kiddies? Is it well, my it? little girl was getting... <laughs> she missed her father so bad. Sure. And being around the house and oh. uh, everything, she was... Uh, she got awfully sick for me, and the doctor told me I had to take her uh-huh. away for a while uh, to calm her down and then try and bring her back. Then, Good. Because they were getting awfully worried about her. Well, does it help her? Well, so far she's doing a little better. <laughs> That's the main. To act better like she did before. Now, Mrs. Klikowski, I'm going to get that wrong yet. Klikowski, Ruth, what do you want if you're queen for a day? What can we do to help? Well, I'd like to go to school to learn a trade, uh-huh. uh, either be a beautician or anything. It's so hard to find a job now. I can't get a job, and I had no high school education. Uh-huh. And it's rough, you know, trying to get a job uh-huh. without a high school diploma. And now, do you want to take that beautician course uh, out here or back in Toledo? Or what? Back in Toledo. You want to go back to Toledo? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And if you're elected our queen, it's none of our business where you go. You go back to wonderful Toledo and your friends and buddies, and we'll see that you get a beautician school there, and we might have something to cheer up your daughter. And for heaven's sake, we've got to get you a new handkerchief, because that one's gone. And you've had about as bad luck as you're going to have, so don't have any more, okay? I hope not. That's your life. And I can see you wiggling behind you, but you go ahead and sit down. You're all right. Boy, you've got 
about half scared just the idea of this, didn't you, Marsha? Marsha Moore? Yes. 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 Thank you. Good for you. Where you live, Marsha? Bell. See, I better not jiggle you too hard either, had I? You got any other children? Yes. How many you got? One little boy. And when do you expect this one? In May. In May? Boy or girl? A girl. <laughs> this is going to be a girl. Well, I'm glad you decided. What's the other one? The boy. That's what to do. Now, now Mrs. Moore, I'm going to get right into your story. Will you haul off and tell us what you want of your queen for a day, will you? And tell it a little louder, or I'll have to hit you right over the head of Johnny Wilson. That's that little dwarf over there. What do you want? We want stock for a small grocery store that sells. Stock? Oh, uh, stuff to sell. Yeah. For a small grocery store. You, Mr. Moore, got one? Yeah. Well, what's going on out there? Tell me more about it. Well, we borrowed money to get in something for him, you know, to start out in business. And, sure. And we didn't have enough money to, to stock the store and pay our bills at the same time. And oh. The stock's run down, and now there isn't hardly anything to sell. Yeah. And we've tried to sell the store, and, but we can't sell the store because there's nothing in it. I mean, nobody wants it. Yeah. So we had some stock to sell in it. Well, then it would help pay our bills and, and also help him with the business. Which would you rather do, have some merchandise in your store and keep the store or stock your merchandise in the store and sell the store? I don't know. You don't have to decide right now. You, it seems to me you and old Dad Moore can't get in much deeper than you are now. Mm -hmm. uh, did you have is the store open today? Yes. What did you have in there to sell today? Not much. <laughs> yeah. What like? Did you, did you take in any money at all? Well, we had... We only had 64 cents this morning to start out with yeah. to open the store. You can't buy very much for 64 cents even wholesale, can you? <laughs> no. And you didn't, uh, you didn't have much to sell? No, we don't have much stock either. Yeah. What, uh, what kind of stock would you need the most of? What do you sell the most of in a grocery store? Potatoes? Well, yeah, potatoes, anything like that. Yeah. And eat. <laughs> Vittles. <laughs> yeah, how much experience did you and Mr. Moore had in the grocery business when you bought this? None. That's what I figured. <laughs> Harry, Ed, Johnny, Ken Riley, Gene Baker, will you all come over here? I want a buck of... I'm going to open this darn store again, the Moore store. Uh, give me a dollar. Don't argue. I'm going to buy some potatoes for the Moore people. We're going to... We open in the store. This is the Moore Cash and Carry. And what you're going to do is you give me the cash, and Mrs. Moore is going to carry it. There, at least you got five or six bucks for the store today, so it wouldn't be a total loss. Mrs. Moore, if you're our queen, we'll stock that grocery store up, and we'll fix you up on the rent a little bit, and we'll help you out so that in May you won't have any worries but having a baby, okay? Okay. <laughs> All right, goodbye. Morning. <laughs> now we have another nice lady here, Mildred Rogers. I'm glad to see you, Mildred. You make your home around here? In San Bernardino. Fine, fine. Up there close to Arrowhead, I guess, huh? Mrs. Rogers, you have a family of children? Five. Five? One husband. What's Mr. Rogers do? Well, he isn't employed now. Well, I'm sorry. You, you work yourself? Uh, no, sir. You have five children. You work, but not out, don't you? Are they all at home? I have one married daughter. Now, are you grandma? Yes, sir. Good. I bet you're a good one. Mrs. Rogers, what do you want if you are a queen? Well, my 18-year-old uh, uh, boy, well, he'll be 19 in June. Huh? He was, this is the third time to be stricken with the rheumatic fever. Boy, and, the third time? Yes, sir. Oh. And uh, he was so in hopes of uh, finishing his high school education this year. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, he just couldn't quite do it. Yes, sir. No. He has a home teacher, but she can't uh, come out but, well, two hours one week and three the next. Is that so? And uh, she said if he had an encyclopedia, it would help him with his government and... Why? History. Oh, get a whole set of those for him. And um, I told her one day, I said, if he was a boy that complained, it would make it easier, seems like, that I could sure. stand it. But he just, he's just the type of boy that just takes things as mm -hmm. they come. He's and, a real man already. And, uh... Now, you've got an awful good idea, too, besides the encyclopedia. What, what was that idea you had? I believe everybody's sure going to agree with that, too. Well, his room <laughs> is small, and, uh... It has uh, the cement flooring, and uh, of course the the dampness seems yeah. to aggravate the the cold and sure. and uh, make the the disease worse. 
You said on the card, too, it's kind of gloomy back there. Yes, it'd be more pleasant when his friends come in if his room was nicer. I sure. He doesn't never complain, but yeah. mother can tell. You bet. Well, you've got a swell boy. you got a swell mother. So what we'll do is put some pretty jazzy rugs in there for that fella, and we'll paint the walls. All those kids, they like those loud colors. We'll paint two or three colors. We'll fix it all up. We'll get him some stuff. And we'll sure see you get the encyclopedias, and we'll go to work with you and on your advice that you're our queen. Okay, Miss? The doctor said he'd have to have penicillin for the next 15 years, but we're in hopes that he won't have to have it because my husband is, uh, he has the rheumatic heart. and Boy. And is, of course, he can't get a job that requires a physical. The sure. doctor said my son in taking it from him, yeah. you know, oh, inheritance. See. Well, what we'll do is cheer up the Rogers family fast if you're elected our queen, okay? That would just be wonderful. I'm sure it would, and we'd love to do it. Thank you, Mrs. Rogers. Thank you very much. Now, we're going to have the voting by the people in the audience, and we'll have it right now. Number one was Mrs. Dorothy Lacey. Mr. Lacey is a sergeant in the United States Army. She has a five, four. You didn't know that. She had five. She has four daughters, and she'd like two sets of bunk beds and four mattresses for their trailer. Your applause for candidate number one. Two is Mrs. Rose Ann Burns. Mrs. Burns has a very deserving young man. Uh, he is completely in a cast and unable to walk or sit up. And she'd like a gurney or one of the things from uh, like a hospital wheel to wheel her around, to wheel her son around so he can get some outdoors. And then she'd like a transistor radio so that he can pass the time away. Number two. <laughs> Number three is Mrs. Ruth Krakowski. That's pretty close. And she has two children. Her husband was killed in a hunting accident uh, last November. And it was necessary to come out here from Toledo to kind of get the little girls away from the uh, places back home. She'd like to go to a beauty school. Uh, she will be the sole support for these two little girls and go back to Toledo. Number three. <laughs> Number four is little Marcia Moore, Mrs. Moore. And her husband have opened a grocery store. Now, the stock is all gone, and the money's all gone, and they uh, got 64 cents left this morning. Her desire is to have us stock that small grocery store for them so that they can get in business, because they can't sell it now, they can't make any money, can't do nothing. So she'd like stock for a small grocery store number four. <laughs> Five was Mrs. Mildred Rogers. Mrs. Rogers has a boy who has a rheumatic heart. He's had three sessions with it. And he'll be bed fast for quite a while. And she would like to have an encyclopedia, a set of them, because her uh, son is studying at home, and also to redecorate that little fellow's room so it'll bring more cheer in his life, number five. <laughs> number three. Number three. Kukowski. Ruth Kukowski. And here is a lady who is about as surprised. Boy, say, Ruth. You've been talking about Toledo long enough. Look what happened to you in Hollywood. And we're going to prove this isn't a dream. I now crown you Queen Ruth. Queen for a day. Queen Ruth. And that was Queen for a day without the fluff. I'm Gord. I'm sorry about the noise. I live above a steeple and below a galaxy. That's just background radiation. And don't forget to super subscribe. Let's get me up to 10,000. I, mean, I want to use these videos to raise money for some charity. Uh, anyways, I'm continuing on with a set of polls to find out who is the best game show, or which is, uh, out of 81. Uh, Queen for a Day was listed as one of them, and I had to take a look and bear that in mind. Jack Bailey hosts what I think is a terrible game show. It reminds me more of, like, reality TV show than anything else, because, well, there's an applausometer. Uh, it's pornography, really, because, like, it feeds off the desperate and the needy, and then there's, like, only one minor wish granted out of those five people, and the rest go home hungry. They have more than enough to help them all. And imagine being in a contestant where you wanted to fix a hole in your roof, but someone needed to, you know, a life-saving bed. And let's say you win, then you feel guilty. No matter what you can do, you just can't win. But worse still is half the show isn't even talking to the contestants. It's just looking at prizes and skits. Like that woman, when they uh, tried to give her five dollars to help stock her whole store. That'll solve the problem. Now, worse still, where is the game? So, how does it fare? Bam! With a few minutes, we're able to get down from 36 minutes and 9 seconds to 13 minutes and 20 seconds. We cut it down to 36.9% of the original size. We have a compression ratio of 
2.71 to 1. We get out 22 minutes, 49 seconds, 1,369 seconds total, or the equivalent of 15.21 moments. Bam! Now, remember, there's a poll going on the community page, and I recommend that you do not vote for Queen for a day, uh, because it's trash. It's complete trash. If someone already voted for it, please renege that one. Um, soon I'll be closing down that these brackets so I can move on to another one, because we had 3x3x3, three by three by three, 9 brackets. But uh, I hope I've saved you some time, and if you liked it, tell a queen. You go, girl. Please subscribe. I'm trying to get to that 10,000 subscribers. And you know what? Thank you for your time. And well, have a good night. School season doesn't have many friends yeah. coming in, yeah. and he's alone with me all the time. This would give him something to do. Sure, he could tune in and listen to the stuff going on all over the country. There's a short little pretty girl with a long Klakowski. Here's a lady I owe some apologies to, don't I? I read this poor lady's card, and I never got anything right. Now, you...